Today is, uh, we're going to do a test event today, we're opening on Wednesday, so today all the team are here um, to invite some volunteers in that are going to be using the facility, uh, and it will allow the team to see what the flow of um, users is like, there'll be some testing of evacuation procedures and policies and so on just to make sure we've got everything yeah. safe and effective and that the, the building is operating as, as it's designed to do, uh, so we can welcome all the public in on Wednesday. And we're in, we're in the new changing rooms then, so this is all absolutely brand new isn't it? It's a new building, everything that we see here is, is new. Yeah. Um, what have we got then? Is it, we've got a mixture of, is that the family, is that the individual and family changing area or part of it? Yeah, so this is a, this is a obviously it's a state of the art modern leisure centre, so it's distinctly different than the kind of leisure facilities that were built in the 60s and 70s when there was that kind of boom in leisure provision and there was there was building taking place all around the country. So certain things have changed, so what you can see here is a changing village, so we don't have ma male and female changing rooms anymore, you have one changing area which suits male and females, all cubicles, we have single cubicles and family cubicles, uh, bigger ones for families of course. Yeah. Um, yeah kind of lockers here there's no one of those kind of that, that basket arrangement where you used to have your <laughs> baskets in years ago if you remember that we've got kind of group uh, showers uh, which aren't partitioned off and then we've got uh, another selection of showers for, for people that want uh, their own private shower coming into family change yeah. you can see it's very open plan it's very airy it's very warm as well you know and it's really important for people um, that they have nice, high quality changing facilities coming into a leisure leisure centre because that helps encourage people to come back and have a really enjoyable experience. Yeah. And this is what you get here. And the, the group changing then, they're different to like a family room. Is that just a bigger room again? Yeah, yeah. so the group changing is, is, is primarily for schools because obviously, you know, uh, the, the national curriculum for schools means that all children have to be able to swim 25 metres before yeah. uh, at the end of year six. So these are school changing rooms when the schools come in um, and there's two there so obviously one school can come in and get changed, uh, leave the kit there and then the other one can come in later on and then um, an overlap. So you, you know, make best yeah, use of it. Yeah, so you make oh, best yeah. use of it, yeah. yeah. Um, when, when you said it's like, you know, this is a different facility to what we would have seen say 20, 30 years ago, um, I think a lot of people maybe don't understand that. Is that just on efficiencies? On, and how the, you know, the building actually operates. Yeah, I mean, it's right across the board, as you suggested, really. So the pool, kind of what we call a pool plant, and that's, that's the boilers and everything that uh, manages the kind of air temperature in the pool as well as the water temperature. Yeah. You know, that's, that's state-of-the-art, it's really up-to-date, so it's much more um, efficient, so therefore, you know, in terms of carbon footprint, that's vastly reduced. Obviously, the fabric of the building, the way it's designed, it retains heat mm -hmm. uh, again to improve its uh, reduce its carbon footprint, uh, and the water quality is much better as well because the filtration systems have improved massively. So you can see how crystal clear the water is, and that's a great user experience. And then if you're just looking around the pool, you can see it's deck level, yeah. so there's no gap between the edge of the pool and the water line, which helps to create a pool which is much smoother to swim in. There's less waves. And if you look at the access point there, we've got a disabled kind of access point or people with mobility issues. Yeah. Where they can come in and set the stairs at the side of the pool, which is great. Um, so there's been lots of detail and lots of thought going yeah, into the yeah. features of the pool to make it a fantastic customer experience. And this is six lanes, of course, so the size of the pool has increased from the old Rip and Spa Bats. Yeah, yeah. So that could, that's great to accommodate um, uh, swimming clubs, obviously, increased bather load. And this will be laned off as well for certain times where we've got uh, categories of um, lanes for mm. swimmers that are slower, medium or faster swimmers. Again, giving everybody a good, mm. good customer experience. Now, how will it be um, made best use of them? Because obviously sort of Saturdays and Sundays are always going to be busy, aren't they, with families. Is it going to be sort of school time for, at, some, you know, at some periods during the week? Or will there be like early swimming, like in other pools? Or like, yeah, you know, well, clubs, that kind of thing. yeah, we published yeah. a we published a pool program. So yeah. there'll be an early bird uh, lane swimming session, uh, early mornings. Um, uh, you know, later on in the day, uh, as the schools finish, you know, there'll be time for uh, swimming lessons. Uh, Saturdays and Sunday mornings are normally, mm. you know, a swimming lesson kind of time really, because that's when yeah. when your families want to bring the kids. But also during those sessions, during those times as well, there'll be time for kind of family swims. Yeah. Um, we have an inflatable here as well, so there'll oh, be yeah. fun swims for kids and families yeah. when the inflatable's up. 
So there's a kind of balanced programme to try and accommodate all the kind of different types of users that want to come in. You know, young people, older people, families yeah, yeah. learn to swim. And obviously during the, during the week there'll be uh, sessions specifically for schools oh. as well. And th this sort of site here then, this is where the car park used to be, isn't it? So the part, I know part of it isn't just a pool, is it? It's the health and wellbeing side of, of things. The, the kind of gym facilities at the moment have stayed, are they, is it right to say they've stayed the same or are they being redeveloped? Oh well? yeah, the gym facilities have been significantly redeveloped. So we have a bigger gym space. We've got a brand new state-of-the-art equipment from Techno Gym, yeah. um, which is which is fabulous. Um, and in the in the ground floor area, which isn't open yet, um, there are some uh, as an increase in kind of Group X studios. Yeah. So we've got we've got really large Group X studios. We can do a, a whole range of a, a diverse range of Group exercise classes in there. And there's another kind of functional gym space in there as well, which yeah. is less about your conventional. Uh, machine, gym machines and more about spaces for people to lift free weights and do functional activity. So it really has got an absolutely fantastic dry side as we call it or gym area. And just to the left here, yeah. um, um, well uh, we've got our um, sauna steam area as well. So is the kind of uh, sort of in health and well-being and leisure are the kind of trends then that people go through with wanting organised classes or wanting just, you know, free weights or gym equipment? Yeah, I mean, it, the, the challenge with public leisure facilities is, is what you want to do is, is try and provide for all the different needs of the community. Yeah. And this is, this is a distinction really with public leisure and the commercial kind of health and fitness sector. The yeah. commercial health and fitness sector will have a clear target market. You yeah, know, and those are people that clearly want to come in and pay for a service, yeah. and, and they'll target to certain groups in order to maximise their footfall with those particular demographics. The distinction with public leisure is, you know, we're here to try and help people, um, all people, um, you know, become more physically active um, yeah. and, and optimise their wellness. So we have to programme this facility to meet a whole wide variety of needs from, from 0 to 90, from people that have uh, mobility issues, yeah. you know, families, you know, all different demographics. And what we do know is that um, people do like a kind of um, a, a kind of wraparound service, if you like. So part part of that kind of activity experience is not just swimming in the pool or going to the gym. Yeah, it's doing things like having time in a sauna steam area. Yeah, you know, which is great for relaxation, recovery, and that's one of our kind of yeah. That's part of our strategy really around health and well-being. It's not just being physically active. Yeah, it's where you can recover and relax, which is this sauna and steam area. It's where you can connect with people, which is the kind of uh, yeah. outside area where you've got lovely seating, looking onto the pool. You can get a coffee. Yeah, you know, and you can do group exercise. Um, uh, so it, it's a much kind of broader offer and a kind of family feel. Yeah, yeah.